Hampi, uh, today is Women's Day and you are not just one of India's best players but in the world. Uh, what would be your message to the women players out there, to the young girls out there? Uh, first of all, I wish uh, everyone a happy Women's Day. And uh, I think uh, uh, we should never think about a gender barrier. That's the key point, I believe. Uh, we should be committed to enough uh, to uh, to fight with the uh, fight equally with the men players too. I think that helps in improving our uh, game and uh, so that keeps us uh, that makes us move forward. Uh, when you say that we should you know fight equally, is there something someone who has to inculcate that in you? In your case, was it your father or your parents did that? How, how does that happen? Yeah, my father was very particular about it. Like uh, during my younger days, uh, he made sure that I played all the boys even, especially even the age groups. I remember playing uh, Asian under 12 boys uh, in Ahmedabad. And uh, I was the only girl in the entire field and also this uh, national under 14 boys. So I managed to or win, the, win these uh, junior tournaments in the boys section at that time and um, I rarely see uh, uh, girls playing in a boys section uh, that in the age group level okay in the open like we see a lot of women players competing but particularly playing the uh, only boys even uh, I also played this world junior uh, in Goa. boys and also world youth under 16 um, in Europe so uh, I do have a mixed result. It was not that I was always successful when I played these tournaments, but uh, it really helped me to uh, to learn and uh, grow up as a player. I, I remember in Goa you finished fifth, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I and don't remember the place. Yeah, somewhere yeah. like that. And uh, there were everyone, like Mamediaro was yeah. there, Hari Krishna was. I yeah. mean, all top. And uh, that event, uh, yeah, yeah. In the before year, like I was the joint winner in the World Junior and was also the champion in 2001 so he felt that if I only uh, stick on with the junior girls tournament I'll be uh, you know I'll, I'll be losing the focus automatically yeah, after winning it twice so he made sure that I compete in a much stronger field so there I had a lot of setbacks while playing like uh, I lost some crucial games but uh, it really helped me a lot you know on one hand if you would have played in girls you would have most likely won the gold yeah um, mostly i'll be like you said very if not gold i'll be away the first second or yes. third and i'll be in the glory but uh, it will not help me to grow up as a player yeah i'll be playing with a weaker opposition but whereas men i was seated somewhere below so i'm playing against the strong contenders and uh, i think it's not all about winning a medal or something but it's about learning the game it's about uh, having a bigger vision, yeah, yes? yes right, uh, uh, but you know, you are a great example and uh, people know about this, people also know about Judith who also played in men and open section, yet why is it you think that many of the talented girls still prefer playing in the girls section? Uh, because you know it's not easy to survive as a professional like uh, if you just stay only in the men's section properly the earnings or whatever uh, recognition sponsorships all these will not be uh, not sufficient enough to prolong their career but whereas if if they manage to win the women tournaments they'll be in the glory right and also uh, of course at the end of the day uh, finance finance is also very important money is also very important when you are professional so i think that that makes a big difference um, and also probably okay depends upon the age even if i i look at my career i was very active in uh, many events till 2009 2010 but once i started playing these grand prix which was introduced in 2009. So I became uh, more of a woman uh, player playing only the Grand Prix events. Like I was concentrating on the round robin and classical formats. So that uh, I could not afford time to play open and uh, also this closed event. So that made a big difference for me. So you, you think you could, you should have continued playing in the open section yeah, back definitely, then? definitely uh, I should have, con uh, that would have been a better uh, uh, better option if I, if I could 
do that but you know the time was also a concern for me like uh, I, I was not a person like where I would prefer to play two, three tournaments in a row. Mm. I just play a single tournament, then come I come back home. home. So that way it was very difficult to organize. But when you talk about young girls playing in open section, what I can understand is that you have to forego short term yeah. gains for yeah. a long term yeah. return. Yeah, right. When, when they are young, I think it's very important to stay focused on the men, men tournaments. Because once you get older, obviously you'll have many goals to achieve in how many events, like let's say World Championship or some Asian Games, something like that. Some major events. But when young, it's important that uh, they take part in uh, many, many events. This is a very important advice and very important message from you. Thank you so much, Hampi.